everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Cristal here at the Whimsical Glitz and Glue. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to make a super giant fig bake. <laughs> this is going to be extremely easy and I can almost guarantee that you have almost all of the supplies at home waiting for you to do something with them. If you don't believe me, go ahead and watch the tutorial. It's going to be very, very easy. I try not to skip through any parts or fast forward through a lot so I can kind of guide you step by step for these kind of tutorials that they're a little bit bigger and just a bit more detailed. If you all would like to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to become a subscriber. Or if you want to wait to watch the tutorial to see if this is your style or you enjoy the way I teach, then you can wait till afterwards and then you can subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, let's get started, okay? Let's have some fun. Come on over. You will begin with a styrofoam base, just like this. This was actually a huge one that I got from Walmart. And then I just went ahead and cut it with my foam cutter. You can use a serrated knife if you'd like. I will be giving you the dimensions. This is seven and a half inches tall by four and a half inches wide and two inches in depth. Okay, so this is the size I'll be using. You can use any size you'd like. Then I'll be using this huge popsicle stick. This is approximately nine and a half inches tall, about an inch wide. Then a cool trick is cutting this popsicle stick sharp like this. This will allow you to insert it through the styrofoam a lot easier. So very carefully, let's just make our way through. And it feels like it might break off. If so, we'll just use this one to make the pathway and then get another one to insert it. Yeah, you guys can see it's kind of breaking here. Let's use our scissors. And then let's try it one more time. Okay, so go ahead and grab another popsicle stick, same size. And let's go ahead and push it. We're gonna remove it, but first we wanna make sure it fits good. Okay, then let's bring it out. Then I will be using a foam sheet and you can purchase foam sheets at your local Walmart or Hobby Lobby. I also sell some of these at my Etsy shop, the huge ones. So first, what we're gonna do is wrap the sides, okay? Now this does have an adhesive side, so we are gonna be removing it. Let's just go ahead and get some measurements before we do that so we know where to cut. And then I'm gonna bend here on this side. These are gonna come across like this and bend to the back. Let me see how far this one comes across. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cut this one through here. Let's remove our adhesive. Using your low temp glue gun, I have my low temp glue gun here. Go ahead and apply some of your glue to your styrofoam. You can use some Mod Podge or tacky glue as well. Uh, you see me kind of making these strips of glue very, very thin because I don't want them showing through my foam sheet. Okay, so now here in this area, we're gonna wrap it around. Let me see which side we're gonna do first. We're gonna do this side first. So I'm gonna make a nice cut right here, straight across, and another cut right here, straight across. And then we're gonna do the same thing up here. And this one's... Let's go ahead and add our glue. Okay. 
and bring it up. Let's cut this slash here. And then repeat the same thing on this side. And bring it up and hold it in place until it's dry. Now let's go ahead and cut this one here and it's like wrapping a gift. Bring these down. We're gonna bring these in. Uh, where's the slash? Oh my God, the slash was here. We're gonna have to cut through in just a second. Let me see if I can find it with my scissors. Right there. I'm gonna poke at it one more time. Get a little aggressive there. <laughs> Let's try to put our popsicle stick. I'm gonna use the one that's broken just in case we put too much pressure, it's perfect. Then go ahead and fold this one right over. And I'm not gonna put any glue in the center because that's where we're gonna poke through. And then let's go ahead and close this off. And we can remove any of these extra pieces that are there in the way. Let's flip this over. And then you're gonna repeat the same thing that I did here. You're gonna repeat it right here on this side. So you're just gonna flip it over and wrap it. Once you have both sides completed, I will be using this color right here. It is Misty Ocean from Target. Go ahead and put some on your parchment paper. And we're only gonna do half, about half of our popsicle. We'll probably need more than that. And I'm hoping to add some nice glitter to it. Make sure you get the sides as well. It doesn't need to be very perfect, uh, meaning the line, because we're still gonna end up covering part of the bottom and part of the top. Go ahead and add enough paint so you won't need to do a second coat and you'll save yourself some time. This is such a pretty color. So now what I'm gonna do is get a little bit more of my paint because since I do wanna add glitter, I wanna make sure that the glitter can adhere to a good amount of my paint. So for that, you gotta put a pretty thick layer. And I am gonna put, I think, white glitter to keep it within the light tones. Let's bring this up just a little bit more, just in case. Now that we've got our extra paint, it's time to sprinkle your glitter. So I will be using the extra fine glitter from Walmart and we can begin right here in this area. And then I have this one right here, it's kind of bluish. I'm gonna see how it looks just a little bit I actually like it. So we're gonna put just a little bit. It won't stick too much because we already have the white underneath, but it'll give a nice touch of blue. Go ahead and let this dry for a minute before you continue to the top or to the bottom, wherever you want to start. Now using your scissors, we're gonna go ahead and push here to find that opening for our popsicle stick so we can go ahead and insert it now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the other one, the broken one, before we put the other one. Okay, looks good. Now we can push this one through carefully. 
And let's fix the popsicle stick so it's nice and straight. I'm going to flip this over and add a little bit of my glue to this bottom part so it can attach really, really well. Next, using a piece of felt. Uh, you can buy felt practically anywhere and you can also use, use some fabric that you may have from Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Joann's. We will be covering the bottom part, so I'm carefully going to place it up here to see how much of the bottom we want to cover. I think I want to go a little bit lower. I think right here is good. Then we're going to go in with our scissors and cut this area right here. So I, I'll be putting just a little bit of glue here, not too much. I'm going to bend this over like this. And then I'll begin by adding this area here. You want to make sure to get that edge specially. You don't need a whole bunch of glue for this part. And then carefully place it down. Then we can go ahead and do this bottom part here. And then let's close this off just like that. Then let's make a nice slash right here. And we need to cut this. Let me see if I'm going to cut it or if I'm going to fold it. Let's cut another slash here. Let's cut down. And then let's cut down here. And let's pick these up a second. And we're going to close these to the top like this. So use a little bit of your glue and then close this off and repeat the same thing on this side. Now I'll be adding some of my glue here to this area and bringing this one over just like this. And I'm going to cut this extra fabric. Repeat the same thing on this side. Bring this over and then we can cut right here and with a little piece uh, of our felt whatever we have left over we can cover the back and then also cut these extra we will be covering the back with probably a foam sheet or whatever we have Next, using any color of acrylic, I obviously will be going with a pink. So uh, let me show you the pink I'll be using. The pink I'll be using is this one from Target. The color is Sugary Cereal. I already went ahead and did the edges. We're just going to do this top part. And this will help brighten up that kind of a dull pink and give it a nice bubblegumish look. And just carefully do these edges here so you won't go over to the blue like I did over here. I'll show you in just a second. But I still have my uh, light aqua color here that I can just fix. Aqua or mint. I'm not sure. Go ahead and add some extra paint because we are going to add a little bit of our white glitter. I was really hoping to add my pink glitter I have been out of pink glitter for a few days and I, I really need it. <laughs> I need to go and purchase some. Let's go ahead and do this side right here. This is where I kind of went a little bit too much, but that's okay. Soak that up with your acrylic paint. Now, don't worry about this. We are going to be adding a bow so that won't show at all. Once you have that, you decide whether you want to keep it like that or you want to add some glitter. I'll be adding some of my glitter. And 
And this is the white glitter, the same one I used for the top. Shake it off. Look how pretty this is turning out. The next ingredient you're gonna need are some cotton balls. You can use anything you want for the top. I'm pretty sure it'll look amazing. I'm gonna be going well, with cotton balls and we're gonna be opening them up a little bit, kind of extending them like this. So you're just gonna grab them and pull them apart a little bit, not completely, not too much. Just enough to stretch them out and give you a bit more space. If you don't want to do this, you can just leave them the size that they are and then continue from there. But we are going to do that to our cotton balls just a little. Turn on your low temp glue gun and you're going to begin to attach them and only up top. So let's go ahead and add our glue and begin. And it's gonna look a little bit wonky at the beginning. Don't worry. It's gonna look beautiful. And the reason why I say to lose your low, use your low temp glue gun is your fingers are so close to this, you don't wanna get burned. So I recommend you use your low temp glue gun. Unless you got one of those finger covers the silicone ones from Dollar Tree, then those will work really well too. We can use this one right here towards the back and then just continue adding your cotton balls. Pretty cheap and easy and it adds some fluff up top. It gives it some dimension. I love, love when my D designs in this case a fake bag has dimension let's spread this one out and continue to do do so until you are done covering up all of this part around and this once you have all your cotton balls there let me show you how this looks we didn't do the back you will use uh, something like this. It's an adhesive uh, sealer. Uh, you can also use hairspray if you'd like. And we're gonna put some in the place where the cotton balls are at. And I did put my poster board underneath. Once you do that, you're gonna use your glitter if you wanna add glitter. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way now. And I'm using the same glitter we've been using all this time. Go ahead and put it on your cotton balls. And shake it off. Next step, you will need your glue gun and some sprinkles of choice. I'm using these fake sprinkles that I got off of Etsy. Do not use real sprinkles. I That's just my recommendation. We're gonna begin first by adding a line of my glue across. And then we're gonna do one going this way. And then we can do, let's stop right there. Let's go ahead and put our sprinkles. Put some pressure so they can stick to the glue. So what we do here is, is I think the, the paint underneath wasn't completely dry, they'll come off. Let's go ahead and push these sprinkles out of the way so we can define the line that we created with our glue. Yep, it's not dry. It's all right, we'll make it work. We'll put that glue there one more time. And then let's go ahead and do the sides as well. And then we'll just follow through these lines here and then put that extra sprinkles on there. And let's flip this over and then repeat the same thing on this side. 
Very easy, right guys? It's super, super easy. It's like, I wanna do Candyland all year. <laughs> this off one more time next using your gold metallic paint i got this from hobby lobby it is my favorite favorite gold paint we will be painting the popsicle stick gold you you can do it i don't even know where to grab it from you can do it any color you'd like uh, the popsicle is not completely dry so anywhere i touch it i don't want it to get messed up so let's remove these glue strings here first there we go they have a lot a lot of metallic colors at Hobby Lobby and Michaels you can choose any metallic color I always add a touch of gold most of the time to my designs or my fake base and I think they just look really nice and of course, you're gonna to wanna to go underneath the popsicle stick, but I'm gonna wait till it's all dry so I can paint the bottom as well. Let me remove any extra paint and go ahead. Now we are going to use a wooden dowel and I just cut it in, in like angled so we can have a sharp end. We're gonna push this in through here and I want this to go through the styrofoam and not, it's not dry yet. And we're gonna to have to put a bit of pressure here if I were to wait for everything to be dry, it would be so much better, but here we are. I'm gonna try my best to make sure it goes through. If not, then we might just have to glue it. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Go ahead and get another wooden dowel about the same size. Let me get one of my dowels here and go ahead and cut it angled. You just need a small piece. You will see in a second what I'm doing. Cut it angled. And then you will need a two inch styrofoam ball. I'm gonna push this in and let's move this to the side. Using your low temp glue gun, it has to be low temp, otherwise it's going to just melt your styrofoam. This is going to melt it, but it's not gonna melt it as much as the high temp glue gun. You're gonna begin by filling up your styrofoam ball with a whole bunch of glue. Now I'm not gonna put a lot right here because I don't want the this wooden dowel to stick to my styrofoam ball because we are gonna change it out. And then just go ahead and put your sprinkles on there. You'll probably take up quite a few sprinkles. But we're going to try our best to make it happen. Spread out your sprinkles throughout so you won't use up as many. And we got about half of it already covered. pressure down to finish it all off. Once you have all of your ball completed, we are going to use a little bit of our Mod Podge. And this is what I have right here. We're just gonna dip our brush in there and we're gonna coat our sprinkles This will help attach them even better to the ball to prevent them from falling off. And then we're gonna add some sparkle to this as well. And of course you can add as much as you'd like. And I think I should have actually put the ball 
first on there before doing this, but too late for that. Next, we're going to use some diamond dust. This is like crushed pieces of glass, so just be really careful with it. Uh, you can use some glitter instead. Make sure you read uh, the description about it. I don't want anybody getting cuts on your fingers. I do, I do love using it, but I know it can be a little bit dangerous around children and pets, so make sure you keep it out of them. Again, you got to read the directions, okay? Let's put this aside. Let's get our huge ice cream, and then we'll carefully remove this from there. Let's add a little bit of glue to this surrounding area. And then let's carefully slide it in here and push it a little bit on there. Last but not least, y'all ready to finish this? We're gonna use this ribbon that I got uh, from Hobby Lobby during Christmas. You can find some super nice spring ribbon there right now for the season. And you're just gonna make a easy bow. Begin by bringing your loop around. Before we tie anything, we're gonna make sure it's a good size. And then bring your tail down here and then bring this loop right over here. Pick up the loops to make sure they're both even. And let's see if this is a good size. I want it just a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna make my loops a bit smaller. We can cut. I will be using floral wire. You can get this from Walmart or Hobby Lobby. Bring it around your bow, your ribbon. Let me center it a little bit more. Twist it nice and tight. And then cut off this extra wire. Then we can do some nice dovetails. Use your glue and then just hold it in place. I'm gonna put it really, really close to the top so it can cover that piece that we had uh, covering the bottom. Let me get it nice and close so you guys can see. Look how big this is. Here we have our big giant ice cream. One of the things I really enjoy about this DIY is that you can size up or size down, depending on what you want to create it for. These are really cool also because they're very lightweight and you can hang them on your trees, just like I do back there. You can put them on your wreaths just by themselves, hang them from your ceilings, however it is that you decorate your style. This is perfect and also the materials that we use. I decided to go with the cotton balls for the top because I did have some laying around and I'm thinking maybe you guys have some too and this is a pretty cheap way to go about it. Dollar Tree has a whole bunch of them now for $1.25 <laughs> but we still get a good amount for our money. Uh, what I want you guys to do if you all want to do me that favor is let me know in the comments what future tutorials you would like to see. If you guys are new to fake baking and there's something you want to see that you haven't seen me do, uh, I would love to get your feedback and hear what you guys would like to see. Uh, now, if you guys have also not subscribed to my channel and you would like to do so because you enjoy the whimsical designs I have to teach you, you can absolutely subscribe. We would love to have you also to turn on your notifications because every time I release a tutorial, you don't want to miss it. <laughs> so guys, I'll see you all on the next one. Have a blessed day. Bye guys.